Imagine being told you'd won a Harley Davidson, only to then have it taken from you. Well, Duncan Southwood doesn't have to imagine. It's his reality. All right, welcome everyone to uh, the end of challenge celebrations. When it's announced, it's, uh, it knocks you for six. So I, I was totally blown away. This one is for the Harley Davidson. The number one male. Elated isn't the word, it, it, it was fantastic. Duncan Southwood. Congratulations, Duncan, you're the new owner of a brand new Harley It was two weeks before Christmas and Gold Coast man Duncan Southwood thought all his Christmases had come at once. Uh, Harley Davidson is not something you win every day. Everyone was coming up and congratulating me, which was very nice. Um, and then at the end of the evening, uh, they asked for the keys back. It was the last time Duncan saw his Harley Davidson. Three days later, the owner of the gym which was running the competition tells him they got it wrong. Someone else won. So that person gets the bike. I was just about to say I was furious, but I wasn't furious, I was more devastated. It's a bit ridiculous, isn't it, that somebody can be celebrated as the winner of this long-term competition. He gets his prize, he gives the keys back to the prize, and then he's told, well, it's no longer yours. Yeah, it's just a joke. Solicitor Richard Mitri. It's not the first time that we've seen a competition where a winner is announced, people are celebrating, they're happy, and then the prize is taken from them. Um, it's happened at the Oscars, it's happened all over the world. And the Academy Award... For best picture. Who could forget the Oscars four years ago when they announced the wrong winner? La La Land. It wasn't, of course, and it took several minutes before the real winner was announced. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won best picture. Moonlight won. The same thing happened when Sarah Murdoch announced the wrong winner on Australia's Next Top Model in 2010. This is not, this was a complete accident. I'm so sorry. It's Amanda. I'm so sorry. But the celebrities had an excuse. They heard the wrong name or got given the wrong envelope. When it came to Duncan and his Harley, the gym just added the scores up incorrectly. They'd looked at it over, I don't know, it was over the weekend or they'd looked at it on the Monday. Um, and sure enough, this person has got a very slightly better score. Hi guys, welcome to EMF 2021. This is one of the owners of EMF Gyms, Scott Freeman, announcing the contest Duncan signed up for. A 12-week challenge to lose body fat and build muscle. It's gruelling and Duncan says it's the first time he's won anything. You can't just take it away like that. You can't put me up on a pedestal, if you like, and then just, you know, kick it away. Um, I believe I have a right to have the bike. Um, the competition's over. And uh, to that, I said, well, I haven't got two bikes. So I said, well, that's not really my issue. It's hard to say who's at fault in a situation like this. Uh, the terms and conditions of the competition are really going to govern uh, who might be found at law in a court to be at fault. In this case, the terms and conditions say the winner is the entrant who has improved the most. And when they found he wasn't, Duncan says he was initially offered two years free membership as a consolation prize. I said, I'm not interested in free membership for the club. As far as I'm concerned, you've, you've gifted me the bike. You know, the photos have been taken, you're using those as part of the promotion. Um, you can't just take it away like that. Then Duncan says he was offered $5,000. But given the Harley is worth more like $18,000, that didn't cut it either. And to make matters worse, Duncan sold his own bike the day after winning because he thought he was getting a new one. You might say that the gym who announced him incorrectly uh, were clearly at fault. Uh, they were clearly mistaken. Uh, but by the same token, uh, if the terms allowed this to happen and really the true prize winner uh, is the person who should be announced as the prize winner ultimately, uh, then there's not all that much that he'll be able to do about it. Duncan is now planning legal action and in a statement, EMF Director Scott Freeman says, we have apologised to Mr Southwood directly and have attempted to work with him to bring about a resolution that addresses the hurt he's suffered from the mistake. You added with the financial interest and added publicity issues for the gym here, uh, they might well consider it, you know, that they'd be better off just buying him a new bike and allowing him to ride off into the sunset. And to my eyes, yeah, I, I believe I, I'm owed the bike, I'm owed the, the Harley. So to not get that makes you pretty crazy. 
Yeah, you do feel for Duncan, don't you? He's planning to take his case to the tribunal in the hope of finally getting his Harley back.